Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be looking at an interesting paper on the solar heart connection, perhaps the best paper on dark matter I've seen in years, another hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, and of course we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The solar flaring roller coaster continues, up and down. Not much happened the last day. We did see some upper level field breakouts and small CMEs, but they were indeed small and not aimed at the Earth. We'll keep watching, but things are quiet for now, so let's go to the solar wind and see the plasma speed peak last night didn't get too high, and it left Earth's magnetic field able to adjust and recover quickly. The geomagnetic conditions have returned to quiet, and we would need more solar wind amplification to budge from there. X-ray flux shows how the flaring dropped out over the last day after the flurry of M-class solar flares. The reason for the dropout is that the bigger flaring spots have departed on the right towards the far side. These would need to grow significantly to make bigger flares, especially those smaller incoming spots on the left. Up next, folks, that's Hurricane Oscar in the Northeast Caribbean. It's strengthened quickly and is battering the islands, but luckily it is expected to bend and hook back out to sea. We'll be keeping an eye on its progress and forecast track as it approaches the Bahamas and then moves out towards Bermuda. First up in today's articles, veteran observers will cheer. We've been saying there is no mysterious, magic, new, dark matter particle they're going to find and that it's all normal matter and electromagnetic energy. This paper makes that model work, using the electric energy field around electrons to stand in for dark matter, which includes a repulsive force which would also replace dark energy. This is the direction in which cosmological science needs to go. Lastly today, it's a PowerPoint presentation that was given at a major conference earlier this month in Greece. They have been doing some of the most important studies on solar activity in the heart, and here, once again, we find little other than confirmation that heart rate is significantly modified by solar activity and geomagnetic storms. So far, not a single group worldwide who has looked at these two has determined anything different. The sun impacts heart rate, blood pressure, and correlates with major events like heart attack and stroke. Folks, my next day out at the ranch will be Wednesday. Don't forget we have major events coming up at the ranch, including the return of the conferences. First one is November 2nd. It's going to be a whirlwind of information. I'm going to make you an expert in the Earth disaster cycle and solar forcing in one day. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.